Natural Mommy here today to bring you the Million Pockets bag by GGB. This is part of their brand new line, the Beyond Collection. So this is the very first bag to come out in the Beyond Collection. Again, it's called the Million Pockets Backpack. And this is in the color Caramel Latte. And it is really, really cute, you guys. My first look at it just about a week ago, got it, packed it up right away, started carrying it around just a little bit. And I'm so excited about it. So again, this bag is called the Million Pockets Bag. It actually has 22 pockets, not quite a million, but still a lot of pockets. There's six on the outside and 16 on the inside. Now this bag is made of vegan leather. So it is not the same if you're familiar with GGB's Ever Collection, their vegan leather from the Ever Collection. This is different. So this is a vegan leather bag, but they call it supple vegan leather. And you guys, I'm not kidding you. It's really squishy. It's really soft and squishy. Like it's super, super, super luxurious feeling. Um, really smooth, just really kind of, I don't know, just squishy and delicious. Now it doesn't feel like leather because it's not leather, but it's a pretty close, like vegan leather close. I love my husband's laughing at me. He's laughing at me as I'm trying to describe, probably because I'm rubbing the bag. <laughs> So anyways, my husband's laughing because I'm like rubbing the bag trying to describe it, but it's really, really, really just super soft, super squishy, really nice to the touch, feels really good. And just because we're here right now, let's go ahead and talk about the original vegan leather by GGB. So this is their Ever Collection, and actually that's not the original. I'm not familiar with the very first that they ever came out with, but it was around for the Ever Collection. And the Ever Collection, while it is very, very nice, it's not super soft. Um, it's really cute. You can see the pebbling is larger, but it doesn't have the same squish that this bag. So literally GGB is calling this supple ve vegan leather. And I think that's absolutely accurate. And it doesn't have that weird vegan smell. You know how some bags, when you open them, some vegan leather can have that kind of chemically smell. I did not have that with this bag. So I know some of you are going to ask me that. So again, it has six pockets on the outside and 22 pockets on the inside. So like I always do you guys, let's go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag and then we'll jump on into the inside of the bag. So the first thing that I wanna point out to you guys is look at how classy and understated this labeling is here. You guys know if you've been here for any length of time, I really, really enjoy a classy kind of understated, not in your face label or logo. And I just really, really love how GGB did this. It's so subtle and so elegant looking at it. It really just complements the bag really nicely. Now all the hardware on this bag is metal, metal zippers, gorgeous. And look how fun these little tassels on the zipper pulls are. Now the Million Pockets backpack is a dedicated backpack bag. It can only be worn as a backpack, but you do have these grab handles at the top that attach with a snap. And you don't have to use that if you don't want, but it's a really nice snap. You do have the two handles. Now I will tell you, they don't flop down. They do stand up, but they're really nice. Uh, they feel good. They're firm, but they're not stiff. So you can see this. So they hold their shape, but they're not stiff. They're very, very nice. And if we turn the bag around, what you'll see here is again, this is a dedicated backpack bag. So you do have the backpack straps. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Be Right Back, I will compare this to the Be Right Back because they're similar in size in a lot of ways. So I will talk to you about that. But these straps are not quite as wide as the Be Right Back straps are, but they do have the same mesh underside and they are very nice and squishy. What this bag does has, have is a very long extension. So you have a very, very long extension and then it also has this kind of like holder to guide to hold the tail down so you don't have it flapping around while you're walking, which is very nice. The Million Pockets bag also comes with stroller straps. I love the look of these. They're really cute, really classy. And while I don't typically push a stroller anymore, I do sometimes, um, but not always, I will leave these here for a couple reasons. I'll talk to you about that when we move on to the inside of the bag, but I really like the way they look and they are really functional for something else besides strollers for me, which I really enjoy. Now, while we're back here, let's go ahead and just talk about this side pocket right here. So you have a zippered side pocket right back here. Now, this is like very reminiscent to the Be Right Back. On the Be Right Back, it's on the other side, but we do have a back pocket back here. This is where your change pad is stored or can be stored. So this bag does come with a memory foam change pad. My girls are potty trained. I don't need to use this, so I don't have this packed in my bag. But back here, what I have is a disposable change pad. 
I love these if we have to sit on something wet, if the girls have to stand barefoot for any reason on anything, like if I needed to change their clothes or do anything like that, or there just was a surface I didn't want them to touch. I love disposable change pads. I, that's all I have back there. Sometimes I put a disposable potty seat cover back there as well if I wanted extras with me. And you guys, look at these zippers. So we'll go over the zippers as we go through the bag, but the zippers are just so smooth on this bag. And zippers for me, guys, zippers for me will make or break a bag. Um, if it's a beautiful bag with the zipper stick, I will not like it. Now, either side of the bag does have a bottle pocket. The bottle pocket is adjustable, and you have this kind of push lock to make it whatever size you like. And in here, I don't have a cup right now, but I do have a pair of Tom sunglasses. And then if you don't want to have anything in there, you can obviously cinch it down. Moving on to this side of the bag, in this bottle pocket, I have a purifier stick by Perfectly Posh. And then I have a hand sanitizer by Touchland. It's one of my favorite hand sanitizers. I think that's it. So you guys can see, let me go ahead and give you a nice shot of the inside of that pocket so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Now moving on to the front of the bag, we have another zipper right here. And this is kind of my catch-all pocket, so I don't really have a lot in here because I want to be able to throw receipts or any anything else I just need to get out of my hands quickly into this pocket. So right here I have a toilet seat cover. This is one of the extra large disposable toilet seat covers for public potties. And I have a pen, so I don't have to use anybody else's pen. Now here is the mommy pocket. Now this pocket does open with two zippers, which is really nice. And I'll go ahead and see if I can fold this back so you can get a better look in here. So right here in this elasticized pocket, I have a Dagny Dover card case. This has my business cards in it. Now in this pocket right here, I have Tic Tacs because mask growth is a real thing. And these are bribery items for my two youngest. Now sitting right here in the center of the bag, I have my Dagny Dover piece. Now this is what I'm using as my wallet. And I love it because if for any reason I needed to just grab this and go and didn't want to take the whole bag, I could. I do have it attached to the key leash. So this is for your keys. But it just makes me feel like my wallet's a little bit more secure in there like this. And I really like how it looks with the bag. But the other thing is, remember I talked to you about the stroller straps? Now this bag comes with a long strap. I don't want to use the long strap that comes with this. It's a lot to carry in the bag. It bulks it up. But I could take one of the stroller straps, you guys. Clip it on the side. And I can adjust it however I want. Make it a handle. Can carry it. Just makes it really convenient. So if I didn't want to take the whole bag and I just needed to go on with my wallet really quick, I could do so. And my phone fits in here as well. So I could just stuff my phone in here, grab my keys, grab this, and go. Now this is what the inside of the bag looks like now. Now right here in this slip pocket, so the two slip pockets here have elasticized fronts. These two are trimmed out in the vegan leather. So right here, I have a Jujube small set piece and this is in their chromatics line, from their chromatics line and it's in the linen color. And in here I have hair items for my two youngest and myself. And then right here in the matching slip pocket next to it, I have a rough and tumble piece and this is where I keep my migraine medication, spare contacts, a mirror, little odds and ends for myself. Now right here in this zippered pocket is where I'm keeping kind of my makeup needs. I used to carry a whole bag of makeup stuff, but let's face it, people only see you from like your, you know, top of your cheekbones up at this point, if even that. So I have a couple of lip glosses, I have a glass nail file, have a face cream I'm using as a hand cream and a CeraVe ointment. And that is that. That's all that's in there. I'll go ahead and give you another look inside here. Now right here is another slip pocket. It does close with a really secure magnet. I really love magnets. You guys, I love a great magnet. This is a great magnet. I don't know if you can hear it. It's really nice and secure. Now all I have in here is a mirror. I have to be careful when I pull it out and the mirror wants to stick to the magnet just like that. But I have a really big Hello Kitty mirror. I love to use this to check my mask, just make sure everything's on my face properly before I go out of the car. 
I also like to put my phone in here. Now moving on to this front zippered pocket. It does open with two zippers and again, excuse my reach. I am very, very short. This is what the bag looks like before I pull anything out. Right here on top, I have a V dapper. Now we have someone in our family who has some significant medical stuff going on. So we'll be out of the house quite a bit at doctor's appointments um, here in the near future. And so one of the big things I wanna have for my girls always is snacks. So sitting right on top, I had a bee dapper. This is in the linen color. Now I know that the bag here has gold hardware and this bag has rose gold hard hardware, but I still think it looks really, really good together. So on the front of the bee dapper, I have some table topper mats and some pure via. And then I love the bead dappers and snack bag, you guys, because look at this. I don't need to pull everything out, but I have like four granola bars, full packs of raisins, a bunch of trail mix packages, um, some full, I have a couple of these full pouches here. I have three sets of straws. So it's just a really nice full snack bag. It makes it really easy to take everything that I need. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this bag in a way so you can see when I pull things out. So right here, there's an elasticized slip pocket and an elasticized slip pocket. And this slip pocket right here, I have a Hobonichi Weeks. Now, I know you guys have been asking. My 2021 planner lineup video is not ready yet, and I do apologize, you guys. We've had some stuff going on here. This is one of my Hobonichi Weeks, and I just want to show you guys how nicely it fits in that pocket in case any of you are carrying your planners or use Hobonichis about this size. Now, right here in this elasticized slip pocket, I have a full pack, almost full pack. It's probably 80% full of hand sanitizing wipes. And then this is what the bag looks like. And this is one of my favorite wipes pouches. You'll have to excuse it. I've got one sad little wipe and they're all bunched up. This is made by Orchid Hearts Design. It's one of, my, again, my favorite prints. It's, I think it's called Monsters, Little Monsters. It's so cute, so just excuse the fact that it only has one little wipey in it. And this is what the bag looks like now. Now looking into the bag, what you'll notice is that you have an elasticized pocket here and a matching one on this side, and then two matching elasticized pockets right here. Let's go ahead and start on this far side pocket. Right here I have another small piece from the Chromatics line, and in here I have a portable charger and a cord. Now on this bottle pocket on this side right here, I have a jumbo sized yay bag. This opens up to hold up to 55 pounds. It's always really nice to have an extra bag on you. Now this pocket right here, these two pockets are kind of my COVID pockets, if you will. So back here, I have a GGB medium set piece. This is also in the linen print. And this is some overflow stuff. So this is where I have cloth masks for my family. I have a bandu headband that I can use to put over top of a paper mask to help hold it on my face better. I have some Marley's Monsters on paper towels. I have some nitro gloves. I have some extra filters and you guys, I'm carrying this. And this is my hack. You know, I'm not a physician, so don't take this as medical advice, but if your children don't like the way that their breast smells inside their masks, I have one that's very sensitive, no matter how much we brush her teeth, she thinks she has stinky breath with her mask on. Um, you can put a little bit of this on the top lip right below the nose, and it just smells like, you know, like eucalyptus, so it helps with that. So I can just do that for her, and because it's made for babies, I feel okay putting it on her top lip. Now, in addition to having the, the cloth masks with us, I always have paper masks as well, especially since we're double masking now when we're out in public. So these are the children's masks, masks, and these are the adult size. So it's just nice to have paper ones with us. Now that this bag is open, I want to go ahead and see, you guys can see, see how I'm squishing this? See how it's just like, it just, it's so conforming it just does whatever i want it to do it's a really really nice soft material but it's still standing up and you notice it's not pitching forward either which is really really nice now we do have a back zippered pocket right here it does have a label and i'm going to lift the label up so you can see do you see this edge paint that is like a hot pink edge paint so it's just kind of a really cute nod to the pink ladies which is what uh, GGB super fans tend to call themselves as pink ladies, so it's just a really cute nod to that. But again, you see the edge paint here. 
and in this zipper pocket. Now this zipper pocket only comes down to, if you can see where my finger is right here, this is where this pocket stops. So pretty much like right below the elastic here. And in here I have a rough and tumble pouch and this just has my like time of the month supplies in it because again, we're gonna be out and about a lot probably in the near future with medical stuff and I just always wanna have my backpack. And that's it for that pocket. Now this back pocket back here, and you guys, please excuse the fact that I don't have my wedding ring on. I'm cleaning it. Anytime I do a video and I'm not wearing my ring, you all ask me if everything's okay with hubby and I. We are fine. He's behind the camera right now. So just so you know, it's just being cleaned. But back here, what you'll see is this is going to be my activity kind of pocket. Now, if you have little ones and diapers, you can use the front pocket for like feeding and the back pocket for like diapering essentials. But because my little ones are not in diapers anymore, this is kind of my activity side, if you will. So back here on this, in this slip pocket. This is actually my first aid bag. So I put my first aid bag back there with the activity stuff. But I have a... Kipling Creativity Pouch. This is the mini or the extra small. And then here I have Band-Aids, Vasitracin, Gauze Pads, stickers, a sunscreen stick. And then right here, this came out of a Dagny Dover Hunter toiletry case. And this in here, I have um, Imodium, I have Children's Claritin, I have Benadryl, I have Children's Tylenol, Quick Dissolve Packs. So just kind of the little medication kind of things. And then in here, you can see I have a bug bite thing. I have some Tums and I have another sunscreen stick. So that was right here in this elasticized pocket. There is a matching elasticized pocket right here. And in here I have a pouch full of toys. I'm gonna dump it so you guys can see. And these are the kind of things that I take for my girls besides drawing and kind of art activities because that's usually what they prefer to do. But they love little figurines. And my kids, my littlest, they love these. These are made by Fat Brain Toys. These are simple dimples. And they retail for like 4 or $5. That's how you get you some because even for me, I like to play with them. Now I'm going to pull this out of here because you guys ask me when I don't pull it out what it is. Now this is a Moby. I got it off of Amazon. They are customizable. You pick your ring size. You pick how many rings. You pick the colors. And it's just a really nice kind of anxiety reducing fidget toy. Now back here, this is your tech pocket. This does hold a 15 inch laptop, up to a 15 inch laptop. But back here I have our arts and craft supplies. So this pouch is made by 31. And in this front little flap right here, I just have two little play pack cases. And then if you guys have seen my videos before, you've seen this before. But it's just a really nice little art center. So I have some twistable colored pencils, some pens for the girls, some regular pencils, a whole bunch of stickers in this pocket right here. And then back here, I have two books of just plain white paper for writing, for drawing, anything like that. Now back here, while I have you guys, before we open this very last pocket right here, I wanted to go ahead and stick my 13 inch iPad Pro that's in a case for you so you can see what it looks like in here. I'm gonna do this left-handed, so it's not gonna be very glamorous, but that is a 13 inch iPad Pro in here in a case. So you have a lot of room, so you can see. It's not tight at all. And this is a padded section right here. Now back here we have another zippered compartment and it does again have that hot pink edge paint. And back here, the only thing I have in here is a GGB small set piece. And this is in the Hello Perky print. This is one of their older prints, I love it. And in here I just have kind of like a puzzle game for the older ones in my family if we're ever out and we're kind of stuck. So it's just a really fun little game. So I wanna give you another shot of the inside of the bag here now that it's empty. And this pocket here, I didn't talk about how deep it went. It's the same as the other one. So you can see here where my fingers are right here. This is where it stops right here. So while I've been a fan of GGB for almost a decade, I've been making GGB videos for about six years. So for those of you who've been watching my channel for a long time, you have seen a lot of GGB on my channel. And because of that, I can kind of anticipate some of the questions I'm gonna get. And I know that you guys are gonna ask me this bag, for those of you who haven't seen it, what bag is it most like in size that GGB already makes? And I will tell you, for me, that's gonna be the Be Right Back. They're very, very similar in size. 
Now, according to the GGB's website, both of these bags are 16 inches tall. So they are supposed to be the exact same height, 16 inches tall. And now width wise, this one is 13 inches and this one is 12 inches. So the Million Pockets bag is one inch wider than the Be Right bag. So you've got 13 inches versus 12 inches. Now the depth is where you get a little bit different here. So the depth, let's turn it sideways. Now the depth on the Million Pockets bag is seven inches, while the depth on the Be Right bag is five inches. But they are very, very similar in size. Now remember we talked about that back pocket, that hidden back pocket. Remember I told you on the Be Right back it was on the opposite side. So here it is on the Be Right back, but here it is on the Million Pockets bag. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the backpack straps just because I mentioned them to you. So remember I said that this is just a little bit wider. So the, one, the straps on the, the Be Right back are just a little bit wider and they're more ergonomically shaped. Well here they're just a tad bit thinner, but you have the same padding on both of them. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.